You know, Matthew 24, when you talk about Matthew 24, the early on part of Matthew 24 is the, one of the keys to setting up the rest of the chapter because many will be deceived. Now, you got to pay attention to Matthew 24 because when the Bible says that many will be deceived, I always wonder when you taught this years ago, Dad, about what do you mean many will be deceived? How can we be deceived if we're inside the church, we're inside the uh, trusting men of God, and people are preaching the gospel and they're teaching us? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you unveiled this people that what he calls pillow prophets. Right. Who are the pillow prophets? First of all, Ezekiel talks about it saying, whoa. That's a word that you said years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the woes. Yeah. Woe to those who apply pillows unto the elbows or all elbows. The pillow prophets are this people. The prophets who, who would not do anything to do with the message of righteousness and impending judgment. Instead... They prophesy an era of peace, ease, and prosperity. Mm. They say peace and safety. And that's what they're saying right now. That's what they said after Trump got elected. Oh, it's going to be okay now. <laughs> then what happens when we start laying back like this is what he said? Sudden destruction. Sudden so, destruction. So this is what Dave Wilkerson has, is, is writing in this book that we just go to it once in a while. And mm. this is the moment. Something is about to happen. Here's, the, here's something so important. This, God just gave this to me yesterday. Again, and it's a simple scripture, a scripture we all know. But here's the thing. Narrow is the way to heaven. Hmm. And what? Few. Few there be that find it. Everybody thinks everybody's going to heaven. Hmm. There's an old gospel song that says everybody talking about heaven ain't a going there. <laughs> you remember that song? No. Never. Well, it's I don't very know old. That song, but no, no, they don't dare sing that anymore. Yeah. It <laughs> but makes, it's makes true. that congregation mad. <laughs> no, is there anything else there that the closing out of this oh, part? Boy. Dave Wilkerson. He says, like the pillow prophets of Israel, their one supreme desire is to promote luxurious lifestyles. And make people comfortable in their pursuit of good life. They are not speaking for God. All they are doing is passing out pillows. One for every elbow of every follower. No wonder the crowds flock to sit under their message and teachings. And it's painless. There is not one the call of Christ to deny self and to take up the cross. Wow. These are the prophets that are making it comfortable for you to come and, and, and just be at ease and relax. Everything's going to be Don't scare just them. fine. Don't That's shake it. them up. You know, I've never heard anybody call them prophet, pillow prophets right. before. Have, have you? Never. No. Never. And, I've never uh, heard. That. He says it's in the Bible. I'm going to have to look that it's up. Ezekiel. Let me give you this. Ezekiel 13, 20. Woe to those who apply pillows unto the elbows. Oh, behold, I am against your pillows wherewith your entice souls. What's happening is we want to hear mm -hmm. only the good news. We're the only TV show probably on in America that gives you the Bible from the, you know, the revelation and the, the prophet's point of view. This is the key. Go to Ezekiel 13, chapter 13. You. You're going to find that God speaks against all the preachers and prophets who accommodate people with flesh-pleasing words, he said. Hmm. The book of Ezekiel is where we are today. And we've heard John Shorey talk and a lot of, of our guests talk about the book of Ezekiel. I didn't realize until last night the passion. I, I went out running. I wanted to go and meditate on this word all of a sudden, while I'm running, the Spirit of God fell on me in the middle of the street, and I started crying. And I said, God, what happened to the church? What happened to the agony that pastors used to preach about? What happened to the cry that used to be in the voice of preachers leading people to the cross? When was the last time someone led you to Jesus Christ? 
This is the passion that Ezekiel is talking about. The, the mm -hmm. pillar prophets came after the people, real prophets that were watchmen on the wall. If you want to know who crucified most <laughs> of our prophets in, back in the day, they threw them in dungeons. <laughs> David Wilkerson teaches that it was the pillow prophets mm. that locked up Jeremiah. They try to silence Isaiah. Mm -hmm. They try to silence Hosea. Yeah. The pillow prophets is what's going on today. And he warns in this book that they're coming after you.